Hello, hello! My name is Callista, and welcome back to Unavowed. In the last episode, we were forced to kill Kalash, and the game, when I loaded in, decided to remind me of that because he has been removed from the title screen now that he is dead i'm gonna i'm gonna put that on screen as i usually do when the title screen changes i i find that so sad that's such a sad little reminder of hey you remember kalash is dead you didn't spend much time with him but he seemed nice didn't he yeah and you killed him ouch game major ouch and oh we we have to talk to mandana we have to she seemed really upset with us because we did let Galen live. After everything that happened, we let her live. I find Mandana's anger perfectly justified. You know, it's because of Galen that we were forced to kill Kalash and we just let her go with very minimal consequences, you know, to her actions. We just, oh, Keep doing what you're doing in the Northwoods. The, the grove shall be one of peace. But as she said, I'll find a way out of that. There are loopholes in wishes. It may take me centuries. It may take me millennia. But I will find a way out of, the, out of here. Excuse me. Mandana has every right to be upset. But I'm, I'm really not looking forward to speaking to her. Mandana stares into the fire, her expression unreadable. Oh, God. It is strange. Father did not speak much, and yet this room feels so silent without him. Do you want to be left alone? Are you okay? I killed Kalash. I'm so sorry. I am so you come out of Eli's room. I'll leave you to your thoughts, but I'm I'm not gonna lie, this is going better than I expected. I kind of thought she'd like bitch slap us to the floor and be like, fuck you, you killed my dad, but no. Of course Montana wouldn't do that. Admittedly, there are there are plenty of options. The episode is young. She could still slap us. Hmm. Where do we start? I I think Briny would start with this. She just feels so sorry about what she did. I killed Kalash. I'm, I'm so sorry. I do not blame you. I see the truth of it, as father knew I would. His sacrifice saved us. He saved the unavowed, perhaps the city, even still. Knowing that does little to make me feel better. I wish I got to know Kalash better. Getting to know my father would not have been easy, even if he lived. Ajin's mind is a maze, twisted and complex. Father was no different. Even I had difficulty understanding his thoughts. I suppose I am too human. When she says, I don't blame you, if that were anyone else, I wouldn't trust that for a second. But bearing in mind she's half Jin, she cannot lie. She is physically incapable of it. So she genuinely doesn't blame us for her father's death. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry for thinking that you were going to slap Bryony. I should have known better, Mandana. I should have known better. I, um, saw you come out of Eli's room. Ah, I cannot deny it. What you saw is true. <laughs> yeah, so what? No, 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 let's, let's continue this thread. So you and Eli are... Yes, although not in the way you imagine. Eli and I are... Oh, it is so difficult to describe feelings when one is forced to speak the truth. Feelings are so messy and complicated. Once in a while, we crave simplicity. Eli and I give that to each other. Once in a while. And last night, I needed simplicity. Please 
Let us speak no more of this. Fair. Fair dues. So what now? The oncoming darkness still approaches, regardless of my personal tragedy. If the unavowed has need of me, I will be here. It is literally the least I can do. Should we start a meeting? Yes, it is time. You doing all right? As well as can be expected. Thank you. I have not lost sight of our goal. The demon still eludes us. But we've got a name now, right? What'd you say it was? Mel something. Mel Carissa. Great. That's something. So what's our play? So who's in charge now? Uh, I... I, I guess we're all in charge. Does this become a democracy? Uh, did you finish? Did you finish? Did you finish your scan on the knife, Eli? The name Melcaressa. Has anyone heard of it? Ooh. I think Bryony wants to know more about this demon. I think she wants to know who's been controlling my body. Who was the one who was doing all of that awful, messed up shit for that year? I want to know. The name, Melkaressa. Has anyone heard of it? It is not a name I have heard of before. I did some scrying last night. From the bits I've been able to pick up, the name Melkaressa is associated with knowledge. Knowledge? What does that mean? I'm as lost as you are. The scry's still ongoing. Hopefully it can tell us more. Okay. Not what I was expecting then. Knowledge. Maybe... I mean, there are demons that, like, I'm, I'm trying to use my Dungeons and Dragons knowledge here. There are demons and devils that are like, hey, like, we make a pact, I give you knowledge. And, like, I get your soul. Like, th there are plenty of demons who will offer knowledge in exchange for a soul. So maybe, maybe that's what that means? I Does this really matter? Does it really matter who's in charge now? I don't think it does. Did you finish your scan on the knife, Eli? I was hoping you'd ask that. We got lucky last time. The demon's energy signature had degraded so badly, it was hard to pinpoint where it had been. But this time, I had its name. That made the scan ten times more precise. So you found more locations? Better. I pinpointed the point of most activity. The demon went all over the city, but there's one place it kept returning to again and again. I was even able to get an exact address. And that place is? 500 Metropolitan Avenue in Brooklyn. Um, your face just went dead white. Does that address mean something to you? That's under the bricks. The theater I used to run with Maury and Zack. Zack! That was the guy's name. Oh. I find that interesting. Why keep going to the theater? Why keep going there? <laughs> Before I was you like, oh, let's use our knowledge of Dungeons and Dragons to figure this out. Now I'm like, let's use our knowledge of serial killers to figure this out. So serial killers will often go back to the scenes of their crimes. They like to relive the experience. It's why so many, you know, mass murderers, serial killers, whatever, and they will often take uh, trinkets and items, you know, maybe maybe a bracelet from the victim, maybe some of the victim's hair or an item of their clothing or, you know, something from the scene so that they can reminisce, oh yeah, that was the time I killed, you know, that brunette at the bar, like, whatever. Could, could there be something similar? They kept returning to the theatre because that was the place that they manifested and made their first earthly kill. Maybe 
maybe this Mel Caressa gets like, maybe they're proud of it, you know, like, oh, I was able to outsmart this dumbass human into, you know, like, I, I made them touch the book and I possess them and, you know, this, this is my first victory. You know, something like that. Hmm. That's under the bricks. The theater I used to run with Maury and Zack. Really? The place where you got possessed? And where two actors got murdered. Why would Mel Caressa go back there? I was hoping to forget about that place. Is that scan of yours accurate? It's been accurate so far. It has been incredibly accurate so far. You know, Staten Island, um, wherever the Eddings house was, the Village Eye. But to be fair, I don't think the Village Eye was part of that scan, but the other two places were. We found evidence that our body had been there. So I... Mm. Yeah, I'm drawn to the first one. Why would Mel Caressa go back there? Indeed. It does seem remarkably risky. Look, I might not know a lot about demons, but the whole returning to the scene of the crime thing, it's bullshit. It never actually happens. So what the hell is going on? Love it. Thank, thank you for that, Vicky. Thank you for shitting on my knowledge of serial killers. We should get- oh, we only have the one option. We should get over to my old theatre and find out what's going on. Indeed. It is time we take the fight to the enemy. We are ready to depart when you are. Let's not waste any more time. Lead the way. Indeed. And here's the thing, who do we want to take? Uh, Vicky. KK can see you staring, you know. Crap. Sorry, kid. Vicky, you're still doing it. Well, tell her to quit bouncing around like that. It's distracting. You can tell her yourself, you know. She's right there. Hey, KK, can you stop bobbing up and down, please? She said no. <laughs> yeah, I guess that. Oh, I love it. Um. Oh. Considering. Considering this relates to our demon, I kind of want to take Eli and Madonna. No, no, no. Maybe later. Huh? Not you. KK keeps asking to see that movie. Squirrel Team 13, Squirrels in London. They're still making those? I saw the first with my brother Mitch when I was like 10. We made our dad play the theme song in the car for months. Great. You had to mention the theme song. <laughs> now she's gonna be singing it all day. <laughs> Sorry. I like that banter. Um. Oh, I, here's the thing, I like Vicky, but I get the feeling I'm not going to use her much. Because Logan can talk to ghosts. And here's the thing, I... Damn it! What? Is everything okay? Just check the score. The Yanks are down one in the sixth inning against the Sox, so no. You're a baseball fan. Have you met a cop family? The order of religions is Catholic, football, baseball. <laughs> I used to take my kids to games in the summertime, back when the Mets were worth rooting for. Sorry, that was when again? Ouch. What I was trying to say is that I don't think we can change party members in the middle of missions. And if there's a ghost, then I want to send them on their way, for which I need Logan, and then the other party member has to be either Eli or Mandana, so I think Vicky is going to be woefully underutilized. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm going to take the pair of them. Yeah, under the brick. Oh, God, what if the ghost of Zack or Moray is there? God, I, I think I'm just going to have to take that risk, considering this you know, deals with the demon. I want the two 
the two members who've been doing this the longest with me. It seems quiet enough. You see or sense anything, Mandana? I see a portal. Yeah, so do I. Well, shit. Oh, can we look at any of the- oh my god. Oh, a sheaf of papers lies discarded on the floor. We- we can't go into the room where the first murder happened. This portal pulses in and out with a consistent rhythm. The portal is sealed. We are safe, for now. That may be. But don't portals like this take energy to create? Like, a lot of energy? Yes. So, what created this one? That is a very good question. Oh, God. I... It feels so weird being here. Even, even Zack's gym bag is still here. Damn. Okay, what's this? What did you find? Looks like some handwritten notes. Answer honestly. Does that resemble your handwriting? Yes, this is my handwriting. I don't remember writing this. Guess this proves I was really here. Oh. I think she'd just answer honestly. Yes, this is my handwriting. I guess that proves it. Your demon was here. Please, read it. Okay. Sharing a mind can be difficult. I have learned that it is important to keep a record of important thoughts and details before they get filtered out. Hence this journal. I have cast a veil over it as a precaution. I am still so weak. This city has become so ordinary, so mundane. The world has turned its back on all things magical. Even the local chapter of the Unavowed is a mere skeleton crew, headed by an old fossil of a djinn. I do not foresee them being a problem. I am powerless here. Whatever magic this city possesses, it is stamped out and tucked away. I cannot access it. How to change this? I see several options open to me. A fossil of a djinn? Come on, let's keep reading. Oh, I'm... T I'm sorry. I'm sorry that my hand wrote those words. One, creating poltergeist. The method is easy enough. I need to find some souls I can corrupt. Their mere existence will generate plenty of spiritual energy. Two, General Zarug of the Merfolk is desperate. He is fighting a losing war. Can I use this somehow? Share his power with a mundane human or two. Release his power into the world. Three. There's a dryad trapped in the North Woods. If she is freed, so will her power. Power that I can use. I will try and make contact. Maybe we can help each other. Oh! What I'm getting from this, it seems that this Mel Caressa was kind of piggybacking. Piggybacking? Is that, is that the right word for it? Um, she was hijacking other people's energy, other people's power. Yeah, like uh, their mere existence will generate plenty of spiritual energy, uh, release his power into the world. A uh, power that I can use. Considering they seem to be a demon of knowledge. Maybe that's the thing. They're an intellectual, but they have very little power of their own. They know shit. But they have no... They're all brain. They are no brawn. Ooh. The more spiritual energy is released, the stronger I become. What do I do with this power? Every day I feel capable of more and more, yet there is still more to be tapped. This is madness. The demon was creating spiritual unrest, filling the city with supernatural energy. Huh. This explains why we've been so busy lately. 
Yay, it does. God damn. I said, earlier in this Let's Play, I said that I hoped it wasn't all lost. Nope, it is. Four, the Wall Street area. There are plenty of weak-willed executives, all desperately clinging to power. All would be easy to corrupt, but who? Five, Manhattan's Chinatown. I sense a power there, something old and ancient, but hidden. I need to bring it out into the open. Six, the neighborhood around Brooklyn's Prospect Park has changed so much. There used to be a magic there, the people so full of wonder. They have lost their way. Perhaps I can help them, and myself. I am strong enough now. I can create a pocket realm of my very own, but I cannot create the door. Nothing I try works. I will have to think on this. This demon has certainly been busy. I should have realized from the start. A pocket realm is a personal thing, only opened from a place I have an emotional connection to. But where? The answer was, as always, obvious. Under the bricks, the theatre where I came into my new form. The portal formed quickly, held closed with the very power I have siphoned into the city. On the other side, anything I wish. Very soon I can go to work. However, there is the matter of the mind I share, and the unavowed. Do they know of my existence or not? Did I overestimate them? This is a loose end that must be dealt with. Ooh. Ooh, that's interesting. I like that we're getting to hear from the demon, in a way. I like that we're getting to experience what was going on with them. Ooh. So the demon created a pocket realm. That must be where it went. That's what all this was for, to create that portal. How do we get through? Can we unseal the portal? Let's get after that demon. It's time for some payback. Hmm. I was gonna say, that doesn't seem like a very briny thing to say, but I, I did also say, I think she's, she's getting more confident. She's feeling a lot more secure in, you know, you know, in her place in this organization. And I also think that, you know, like, killing Kalash and seeing Mandana be so strong, I think that would have, that would have inspired her. I think bryony has gone, all right, no more Miss Nice Girl. Like, it's time. It's time to get on this properly. How do we get through? We cannot. It is sealed. We're not giving up. So what now? Find a magic crowbar. How do we unseal it? Oh, I... I like this. She's still quite a whimsical person. So yeah, so what now? Find a magic crowbar? Not quite. There are bonds of energy holding the portal closed. I can sense them. Yeah, so can I. Not as sensitive to these things as you are, but... Holy crap! The bonds feel... frayed. Yes, quite recently too. Wait, this is... this is because of us. Our actions over the last week. Correcting the spiritual unrest that the demon caused. There's less energy to hold this thing closed. We've been getting closer to the demon this whole time, so we keep moving forward, find more wrongs to right. The notes mentioned three other neighborhoods. So we keep moving forward, find more wrongs to right. That's why we're here. Stopping the demon, just a bonus. There were three more neighborhoods listed in those notes. Yeah, Wall Street, Brooklyn, and Prospect Park. Then we know where to go next. Ready and raring. Okay, is that... Is that it? That I mean, all we have is the portal and we can't actually use it, so... Oh wow, we're back to here, okay, um... Hmm... Okay, 
I, w I want to look at the, the places to go, though. Um, I, I want to bring Mandana. I know that. And I... <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry, Vicky. I'm so sorry, but I, I think I have to bring Logan. Mainly because he's a bestower, and... You know, after what happened with Kalash... I could see Briny wanting to bond a bit more with Mandana. Okay. A Hoyt Chermahorn, Brooklyn. Bowling Green, Wall Street. Canal Street, Chinatown, Under the Bricks Theatre. Ooh. This wasn't the order they were in in the notes. I'm gonna point that out. I'm gonna assume that this is in order of difficulty. Brooklyn being the easiest, Chinatown being the hardest, and then Under the Bricks Theatre being, you know, like, where where the final showdown is going to happen, basically. That, that would make sense. Or it could be random. It's certainly not alphabetical, otherwise, you know, Chinatown would be in the middle. Or first, you know, depending on which capital you're going off. If the game is suggesting we go to Brooklyn first, then we'll go to Brooklyn. Yeah, it does kind of look like him. Mm. Pardon? Uh, KK was talking about that skull painted over there. She says it reminds her of a Trollgate boss monster. Hmm, it reminds me of the Barbados Undead Uprising in 1834. I don't want to know, do I? Most likely not. But I do. I 100% do. A dark pathway under the subway bridge leads to a poetry slam. Uh, a flashing walk sign giving crossing directions to an empty street. A thumb with a face. At least you hope that's a thumb. Ew. Uh, across the street is the entrance to Prospect Park. Uh, ba -ba -ba. A worm with shades, edgy. That's just the skull. Colorful storefronts shine, uh, shine at you from down the block. Um, where where do we want to go first? That's the thing. Um, I, I'm drawn to this again, mainly because there's an arrow. There's an arrow being like this way. Um. Now let's follow the arrow. Ooh. A majestic illustration of an angel graces this wall. I'm I'm loving all of the graffiti. I'm loving all of the art here. Whispered words escape from the dim interior of the poetry club. traveled up the mountain of glass to the man who looks down upon high but he sent me away he gave me a pass so now I drink coffee and sigh okay okay I saw oh. a pink dog by the side of the road I'm gonna get annoyed with you quickly he I can tell and gave me a wink then I helplessly watched as I saw him explode. Damn. I may have been dreaming, I think. A richly upholstered red plush couch discreetly the placed colors, in a dark corner. The colors, green, blue, and red. All mixed up within the same pot. I lifted it up and poured it on my head. Pleasant feeling? I think not. She's lost in her own little world. Over the sea, I flew, I flew To the girl with the golden drum She could not help me, I knew, I knew But flying is just so much fun 
A half empty cup of coffee illuminated by a single flicker. One of fine light. day, day, day. I went to town, town, town. But I didn't stay, stay, stay. Cause I ripped my gown, gown, gown. Yeah, I'm gonna be honest, I don't like your poetry, love. I'm sorry. <sighs> Do you mind? Can't you see I'm. Wait, Mondana? Is that you? Yes. Wow, it's been a while, huh? I am unsure. Do I know you? Um, yeah. Don't you remember Havana, 1592? I must be GI'd. Calliope? That's me. You seem changed. Yeah, you could say that. I'm gonna sit down. Come join me. We've got like a billion things to catch up on. That was unexpected. When I saw her portrait, I was like, wait, no, what? You! She's back! I know her, she's a muse, yeah. She, she was there when we stabbed two people. So, who was that? You could have introduced us, you know. I assume she's not a mundane. I know her, she's a muse. You are correct. She is a muse. The one you encountered last year, I assume? Then why did she not recognize you? Most curious. A muse? Seriously? Like, ancient Greek stuff? Muses are ancient creatures. They can tap into the creation energy of the universe. Very dangerous when summoned. But Calliope seems... different. Changed. Not quite herself. I am eager to speak with her again. That is an excellent question. Why didn't she recognize us? I mean, we have the veil, but she, she's not even void touched. She is a full on like entity, like a djinn or a demon or a, a dryad, you know, any of the, the things we have faced over the course of this game, she should very easily be able to see through the veil. So why the hell didn't she recognize us? Well, that, that is a question that we'll have to wait until next episode because I am just about out of time for this one. So, please remember to like if you enjoyed, leave a comment below, and if you wanted to subscribe, it would be very much appreciated. I've been Callista. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next episode.